And so Marisha came into the room with her boyfriend at the time. I was in a relationship at the time. And uh, it was one of those like immediate crushes that just hit me. And I was like, who is this? Mm. And we were laughing, we were telling jokes, and I just assumed she did not give a shit who I was. <laughs> and Matt walks through that door, and it was like, Slow motion. Yeah, Dean and Fiend. Shampoo Sparkles. commercial, just right. Yeah. Right. And I was like, Glory. What the fuck is this guy? Mm -hmm. Immediately taken with him. Um, I always like to say, like, as a cynical, jaded bitch, love it first, <laughs> love it first sight. Mm -hmm. Would not believe it if it wasn't for Matt Mercer walking through that door. Natural 20, but it is a natural 20. Nice. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, this woman. Oh. oh same between uh. us. Like it, you know, I've, even when we first started dating, it was very much like I, I know I've DM'd for her once, so at least I know she's into role playing games. Hope, yeah, when I was hope, still with my ex. Yeah. Yeah, that worked, that worked out well in my favor. Uh, but I thought, the, I thought the couple who games together stays together, Marisha. <laughs> well, I guess it's not always true. <laughs> Got to be careful of those one shots. <laughs> we kept in contact. We'd see each other at social events over the next year and a half, two years. Um, and it was always one of those like little heart flutter moments whenever I'd see her. But it was very much a, you know, I'm a respectful guy and I would never, ever encroach on anything like that. Right. She texted me saying, thank you so much for the referral, I owe you a drink. And I'm like, yeah, sure, we never actually had anyone on one time. Mm. Let's do that, I'll, I'll take you up on that drink. And so we went to Mexicali, not too far from here, and we spent like four or five hours talking. And it was just this like electric, immediate bond that I wasn't expecting, and I was enthralled. But it was also one of those scary things where I was like, this was a really great evening, fuck. Well, you know, have a good night. Mm -hmm. I wish you well. You know, one of those like passing in the night type scenarios. Shit. Okay. It's also really adorable to see you two hugging at the table right now. <laughs> um, and. I don't know, I, I mean, you've never made it, you somehow always like find a way to top yourself. Like, hmm. there is always something to look forward to and to be excited about, because it's like, what the fuck is he gonna pull out next? Yeah. Um, hey. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I would agree with that. Yeah, that's, good this. that's always a, a worry for any DM out there is how can you keep surprising and keeping your players engaged? And yeah, it's a perpetual worry I have. I mean, never mind the audience, I'm worried about keeping you guys Engage the story and interested, so I mean, it's 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 my own personal pressure on those. So it makes me happy to know that you guys are still having a good time. Yeah. You you particularly. Well. That's what it's really all about. I mean. <laughs> I mean, not more than the players, but you're my wife. I want to make you happy. No. I hope uh, we still make you happy, though. Oh, so you fuck shut up. You. Max. I guess you could say I I slid in as your DM. There you go. Oh no. No, but uh. About a week later or so, she called me and said, hey, so I just broke up with my boyfriend. Do you want to get another drink? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. And so that kind of was our, our first date. And I and it was it was magical. Oh, now it's weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hit the weird threshold. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Complete room. Yeah, yeah that's great. In, in, in all sincerity, it's for me from from a DM's perspective, because it's one thing to play with 
you know, your partner uh, or partners. Um, Hello. To me, it's, it, it's the idea that I get to create this gift for my friends, and then I get to create this experience and then watch them enjoy it, flesh it out, and then break it and put it back together and make it their own. Um, and the fact that I get to make part of that for you as well is, I don't know, it's a weekly gift that I enjoy very much. So. Oh, boy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you love so you guys. Much. Congratulations. Matt, did I hear Thanks you say... Thanks for making me cry. Did I hear you say, I slid in as your DM? Did you say that? I did. Yeah. That's really good. That's pretty That's a good. really good joke. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's a whole new meaning to being up in your DMs. So many layers. So many layers. Who's yeah, a- you're marrying that. I know. I'm excited. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, dang. Wow. Dang. I hope right, we got that. I hope we got that. <laughs> Last question of the night. She's, she's confident in ways that I wish I was and self-assured in a lot of ways that I wish I was. You know, she's definitely a fighter. Mm. I've said it before. She's a fighter. I'm the diplomat. But like mm-hmm. that, legitimately, that's it. I've... I've always been a very passive and diplomatic person to try and make sure that, hey, we're all friends, let's, let's work this out, let's talk. And that, that's great most times, but sometimes that, that doesn't work, that isn't what's needed. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you have to walk away. Yeah, or sometimes you have to step up well, to their face fight. and be like, what are you gonna do about mm-hmm, it? Mm-hmm. And she was very much that strong person that I couldn't see myself being at the time, and that was very uh, comforting and wonderful. Um, but she was funny and she was uh, uh, very observant and, and was a great listener, and she had her own uh, convoluted history, and we both swapped our, our life stories and found differences and, and, and you know, moments of, of synchronicity, and, and I didn't feel any judgment. I didn't feel any, any of the things that I found more often than not in this city, uh, and, and she was just so creative. She was just had this brimming creative drive that, that at the time, she, she was lamenting that she had no outlet for it because mm. nobody in this town would give a, a, you know, a comparatively fresh off the bus from Kentucky kid the time of day to show what she could do. And in this time I saw that there was so much that she could do and it was inspiring to see her being like, I don't care, I'm gonna keep pushing, I'm gonna make this happen. And I'm gonna meet people, I'm gonna do what it takes, I need to tell these stories, I need to be this person. And uh, it was just so inspiring to me. And she had a good sense of humor. She, we both gave each other shit immediately mm-hmm. and, and could sling it and take it. And uh, yeah, it, it, for all the things that we had in common that were magical, there were perfect differences that helped uh, kind of fill in the gaps. I'm glad you can come here for Mercer's Dating Tips. Tell the people what they want to know. <laughs> Rule one, prepare for disappointment. Because <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know how this happened. <laughs> I, man, um, honestly, uh, just, and it sounds so hackneyed, but just be yourself. Because the perfect person and the awesome person is the one who's going to appreciate you for all of your weirdness and your idiosyncrasies and your quirks and your frustrations and your anxieties and your depression and all the things that come with being a human being. And, you know, you want to make sure that you don't hide those aspects. You want to find somebody who can see you as a full picture and go, yeah, let's go ahead and spend the rest of our lives together. Yeah. to hit him right now. I'm gonna do uh, Flurry of Blows. Flurry of Blows, go all in. Two more strikes to the advantage. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> no way. This is the same one. Yes. This is the same one. This is the blue one. It's my cobalt blue one. I love Okay, 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 okay. Uh, 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 okay, 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 okay. So damage, damage first, damage. Um, okay, that's good. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. We're just seeing me sobbing this many times. Yeah. No, so usually many after, times. Usually after, after a movie. Cool oh, yeah, yeah. After oh. a Folgers commercial. Look, like, Matt, <laughs> I, I cry at the drop of a hat when it comes to, to film what media. What was the last she knows movie this. that made you cry, Matt? Uh, what was the last movie we watched? Pick, I was going to say pick one. <laughs> so, 
As soon as I saw him, I was in love. Wow. Fucking in love with that guy. <laughs> and uh, That's rare. Yeah, yeah, he was funny. He was this like gangly, long-haired, still had glasses at the time, nerd. And I was just like, mm, just my type. Gangly, nerdy boys mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. video game jokes. We started talking a bit. We had one evening where we just said we haven't talked in a long time, so we went and got dinner and just kind of caught up. And it was a great evening, a lot of back and forth. And she said like, I just broke up with my boyfriend. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. We should, uh, <laughs> we should get a drink. How weird. And so, and so uh, a whirlwind romance took from there. And three months later, I was asking her to move in with me because like, I was an impatient dolt. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Really, really, really liked her. And then uh, on one of our, our first nights out, we just went driving and we just went driving along PCH and the moon was out and it was beautiful. And we got into a lot of philosophical statements about kind of our place in the world. And we're, we're very different people. You know, I'm talking about like my kind of um, emotional openness and sensitivity. She is the gritty survivor. She is, she, it, you know, in the zombie apocalypse, she's the person, she's the guy in the front of the doom covers and the pile with two rifles going like, ah, like that's her. And so we've had very different life experiences and and through those conversations about how different we were, we also realized how much we kind of needed somebody like the other person. And the more that conversation went, I was just like, fuck, this feels so right. And I can't, I think that was the beginning of me realizing I'm really quickly falling in love with this person. And how how far into the relationship was that? <laughs> a couple of dates. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say anything. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't say anything for a few weeks, but uh, but that was when it first hit me. It was very quick and very rapid, and I was like, oh no, oh, okay, let me just temper that and take things casual. We got this. We got this. Jesus. You were just talking into your no, wine, no, weren't wasn't. you? No, I wasn't. You were talking no, into your wine. No, that didn't happen in front of a bunch of people. Uh, <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm so glad we were all here to witness that. Jenny put the hat on his head and like, no offense, babe, but you know, not pull off trucker hats well. Oh, I don't pull off hats at all. <laughs> I, I can't. I don't do hats. I haven't it's seen you wear good. a hat because I, I look. Know. I mean, I what barely about, pull this shit off. A hat is no. Looks like like Beavis. Oh, like, yeah. It ma automatically goes king of the hill. Anyway, um, <laughs> and she put, I love you. And she You're put, marrying this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the queen. And like, <laughs> <laughs> good talking crap. Yeah, never, bro, I'm never proud take John it off. That's the people mind face. Hey, the queen. My wife, ladies and gentlemen. Where'd you guys go? <laughs> A big lesson I learned in my last relationship, and I remember us talking about it that first date that we really had, was uh, Shel Silverstein's Missing Piece, which is such an incredible book um, that essentially talks about the idea that um, a relationship shouldn't be based in finding someone that fills your void. Mm -hmm. You know, you you know, not believing that you are an incomplete person and you need to find somebody to complete you. That isn't always a healthy dynamic. Mm -hmm. And uh, the story goes through this 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 you know shape that feels like it's, it's trying to fit other people who are missing pieces together and while they may might fit they can't go anywhere or maybe there are some people are missing too many pieces mm. some people you know and then eventually they find somebody who's just 
round and rolling on their own. Like, you know, well, how, how are you doing that? Right. It's like, well, I, I just pushed myself to keep going. I wasn't waiting. I wasn't going to wait for somebody to film to film me. I was just going to go ahead and, and keep pushing on my own path. And eventually, I I kept going. And so the piece forces itself to flip hmm. and then roll and roll until it begins to round the corners. And the last shot is the two of them rolling side by side. Wow. And I realized, based on previous relationships, I needed somebody that wasn't this kind of uh, what's the term I'm looking for? Uh, codependent relationship. Right. I needed somebody who. Both of us could be whole individuals um, side by side. Right. We could both have our path that goes together and our paths that go parallel but separate and be supportive and appreciative of that arrangement. And we both agreed so heavily on that, both mm. through hindsight of our previous relationships and who we wanted to be. Time. Uh, <laughs> wow, <Mama Quest Ma! laughs> That's my wife, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, XP. I'll give that to you, actually. No, yeah. you keep it. No, yeah, why I'm do you good. always do this to me? I love you. Just All right. take the magical items. I'll get the next one. Okay. We're out of COVID. I want to see them titties. <laughs> 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 we're not out yet. We're not out. But when we get right, there, Marisha wants to see the tips. Yes, please so. wear your mask. Watching her grow, especially, you know, my my path is 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 my my path. Um, but where she was when we first met, and first began to to embark on this kind of life together, and seeing how she's flourished, and the 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 challenges that have come before her that she's surmounted, and the you know she's she's filled with her own you know sense of of self loathing, mm -hmm. and, and we've had our own. Things we've we've helped each other through and are still helping each other through, and that's kind of what what makes a relationship like this so so important. Mm. Um, is we've both been very open and very um, willing to allow the other person to be who they are. That's not trying huge. not trying to fix each other. That's huge. You know, we're just we're we're there to support and help guide where we feel we can. Yeah. You know, we, we built our, our our phrase that we use, which is an avatar reference, which is that's rough, buddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, an episode of those who watched the show would, would know, but uh, um, between uh, you know, it's a soccer line. But the idea is, you know, when a person tells you how shitty things are and how tough they're feeling, sometimes you just got to say, yeah, man, that sucks. Sucks. I feel you. Mm -hmm. And not try and fix it, not try and offer an alternative, not try and pick them up if they're not open to that idea. Mm. And that's that's been a huge lesson. She had many lessons that she's taught me. And uh, I'm so thankful, not to get cheesy here, but like I'm, I'm so You're thankful cheesy. that uh, <laughs> that she's been as patient with me as she has been. Mm. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm sure in many cases I'm not an easy person to be around. No, no. You taste like a semen. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I just don't know. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to wow. shake. I want to shake your hand, but at the same time, I want to. I want to smash it. I'm <laughs> <clears throat> more proud of my wife. <laughs> but I think I'm taking the cake this time. Thank God. I have no idea. It was idea almost it was. you, baby. Almost. You have nothing. You have no idea what the show is. I have no idea. It would have been awful. It would have been a great show, I'm actually. Safe, <laughs> Maybe, next time. Maybe next I time. I, uh, I will do this bitch with my natural 17. Here we go. Okay. Are you ready for this, out? Kyle? Okay. okay. I mean, I think we. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Sorry, I almost hit my husband in the face. I'm happy with it. This is it. Yeah. The truck could hit me tomorrow. Boom. I'll be like, I'm good. No, but let's no, not let that happen. We just got married. <laughs> <laughs> I got dark. No, <laughs> I'm so proud. I'm so proud of everything she's accomplished and, and, and is going to accomplish. Like, um, you know, for for anybody who has come from a, a small town as she did, with as little as she had. To just come out swinging and build, you know, kicking and screaming 
whatever she could against a perpetual wave of of uh, interference and and uh, I mean when you're when you're a, a woman working in the internet especially it's it's a harsh space and she has endured a lot and mm -hmm. continues to endure a lot even from you know with everything with critical role but she's done it with grace or she's done it by hitting back <laughs> and she's proven herself time and time again to show that, that none of that makes any sense mm. none of those no none of that negativity has any grounds to hold because you know the, the work is plain to see it's, what she's done yeah it's the evidence itself of who she is and how hard she works yeah and she's the hardest working person i know i agree i agree i'm real i'm real proud of her She'd hit on you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I would. I would allow that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Did God. You say I'd allow it. Matt <laughs> said I'd allow that for those of you who missed it. <laughs> if you want to know how freaking weird all of us are. What the hell, man? <laughs> Mac just made a proclamation about the, <laughs> the limits of his marriage. Ultimately. <laughs> You know what? I'm cool with it. No, you got, you got some good, you got some good tots. Thanks. <laughs> I complain. Uh, hey, y'all leveled up. Matt and I were actually just saying the other day, what's kind of been incredible about this is not only having a, a partner, you know, those who game together, stay together, um, that we can have such like a deep shared hobby and interest in, but just this, this whole critical role journey and the fact that we're lucky enough to go through it together and see, I'm getting emotional. And just traveling and seeing all of you guys and I mean beyond us as a couple like damn we're lucky. <laughs>